Uh, so today I'm going to be making a fall decoration that you can use as a centerpiece or just sit anywhere in your home and it's just going to look lovely. We're going to be using these little styrofoam pumpkins that you can get anywhere. You can also uh, use real pumpkins to make this uh, decoration, but you will have to throw them away. <laughs> after Thanksgiving, so that's why I love to use these. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So getting started here on our project, gonna show you the things that I use for this uh, particular project. Uh, three styrofoam pumpkins, a large, a medium, and a small. I did get these at Walmart. Also some glitter spray paint right here that I got at Lowe's. And then some different kind of foliage here. I've got some uh, leaves. Now this is a swag, so I'm gonna be able to use this very easily in my project. I got that at Hobby Lobby. Also some flower picks. I also got these at Hobby Lobby. And some of the tools you may uh, use is a glue gun, of course, and also some kind of a tool to help you cut your foliage. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Now this little one I'm going to leave just like this as far as like the stem goes, but the other two I'm going to take the stem off. And usually some of these just, they're just popped on there. So you can just, or glued on there, you can just usually pop them out fairly easily. And see, I'm just pulling, pull that right out of there. So awesome. So that middle one does not need to have the stem. And the large one does not need to have a stem. Now this particular stem is different and uh, it was one whole piece. So I just took a serrated knife and I just cut it. So I'll just cut, 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 cut. And it comes off just like that. So you can do whatever you want with that. Probably throw it away. But anyway, you want to be able to stack your pumpkins like that. So that's why you do not need that stem on there. And so the only one that's gonna have a stem, now you can't see it because it's too high, but is this little top one right here. So uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is glue these together, just like I had them just, just now. I'm just gonna glue them all together and then they'll be ready for the spray paint. Now, you do not have to use uh, the glitter spray paint. You can leave them just like this for the project, but you know, I like a little bling, so I'm gonna have to put some orange glitter spray on them. So let's go ahead and get them all glued together. to go ahead and add uh, a little bit of bling here with the orange glitter spray paint. So now all of our glitter is all dry and see all the bling that it added. Can you guys tell all the shiny, sparkly? Yeah, that just makes me happy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, start putting on all the decorations. Now this was a swag um, of leaves. They were all connected and I just cut them all apart, just measured the size that I need and cut them into three pieces here. Only, I'm only gonna use two, but I'm going to take them, put them right around uh, where each pumpkin joins the other. And there went another one into the floor. <laughs> and I'm just going to uh, hot glue those into place just like that. Okay, so after that's kind of dry, just kind of fluff your leaves. Get them exactly where you want them. Awesomeness! All right. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on this second. This section of the leaves. Okay, now it's time to fluff our leaves up just a little bit and get them all turned the right way. Oh, so cute this is, love, love. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a little bit um, more decoration using um, the little flower picks that I showed you earlier. And this one is kind of big, so uh, I'm going to cut this one into several different uh, little pieces, like the leaves and 
you know, and you don't have to add this because honestly, that really is just beautiful like that. But like I say, <laughs> I always just like a little bit more. Okay, so I got all of those cut and I'm gonna go ahead and just put them wherever, um, you know, wherever I think is gonna look cute. and you can do this any way that you prefer, but this is gonna make a great centerpiece uh, for my Thanksgiving table. Okay, y'all, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this fall decoration. It really was quick and easy to do. Hope it gives you guys some ideas on how to do your very own fall decoration. Um, but anyway, I enjoyed it. I think it turned out oh so cute. So I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.